Say hi. Hi. <laughs> How old are you? Three. Three. Welcome to Porter's third or three-year-old update. Porter is now three. He's actually like over a month into being three. I'm so behind. So I thought I would do ah. an update video on Porter. As I do with Grayson, I'm going to do interview questions for Porter and see what his answers are and then we'll just kind of go over um, some things that are unique to Porter. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, first question. How old are you? Three. How old? Three. Three! Yay! What did we do for your birthday? We opened a present. We opened presents? Yeah. What else? What else did we do? We eat candy. <gasps> we eat candy? Do we have a candy birthday party? Yes! Oh, that was so fun! How old is mommy? Two. I'm two? Yay! <laughs> How old is daddy? Three. Daddy is three? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. So he's as old as you? Okay. How old is Grayson? He's good. He's at school. How old is he? Three. He's three? He's the same age as you? Yeah. Yeah? No. How old is Gray Gray? Two. Five. Five. And how old is Avery? Six months. Six months old. That's right. You're so smart. Yeah. What is your favorite color? Black. Black? Ooh, like Felix? Yeah. Our cat Felix is the color black. What is your favorite toy? My doctor. Your doctor kit? He got a doctor kit for his third birthday and he's obsessed with it. He takes it everywhere. He says he wants to be a doctor when he grows up, don't you? Yay. He even sleeps with the doctor kit in his bed at night. He is that committed to being a doctor. <laughs> what is your favorite book? PJ Masks and Play-Doh. Your favorite book? It's PJ Masks and Play-Doh. Oh, okay. PJ Mask. We have a PJ Mask book. It's a little cartoon for kids. And Play-Doh, Play with Clay. Yeah. We have a book that we got from the Dolly Parton like free book library and it's called Play with Clay. It's about like different things you can make with Play-Doh. Uh, I thought he would say no David. That's what he said um, when we started preschool. That's no one David. of his favorite books, but maybe he changed it. What is your favorite thing to watch on TV? What's your favorite show? Play-Doh. Play-Doh. He likes to go on YouTube and watch people make letters of Play-Doh, make shapes, different objects, all with Play-Doh. He thinks that is pretty fun. Also, like show-wise, he loves the Spider-Man show. Right? You like Spider-Man? Yeah. Yeah. He loves Disney movies. He loves Brave and Tangled and Elemental. He calls it the fire show. No, Porter loves shows, don't you? Don't you too? Yeah. Yeah. What is your favorite song? Alexa. What's my favorite song? No, you, what's your favorite song? Candy. Candy? Yeah. That's not a song. Yeah. What's your favorite song? Candy. Usually he likes the poop song, he likes to play that a lot. Or he'll play songs by Lori Bruckner band, like the airplane song. <laughs> or he likes the move song by Super Simple Songs. So he really likes any, any song. He actually just had music class yesterday at preschool and they said Porter absolutely loved music class. Like was so into it and happy and um, might have a little music lover on our hands, huh? <laughs> what is your favorite food? Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese? Mmm, <laughs> yum. Yes, Porter loves macaroni and cheese. He also loves pizza. 
I love pizza. Loves pizza and he loves candy. I love candy. Yeah. Porter yeah. is not as picky of an eater as Grayson is. Porter will mostly try at least one time of everything I put on his plate. His older brother Grayson is more picky and will refuse. But Porter likes to try it, especially if it. Anthony or I are eating it ourselves, then he really wants to eat whatever it is that's on our plate. What is something that you don't like to eat? What is something yucky? Vegetables. Vegetables. Yeah, you don't like vegetables, huh? The other day I made asparagus with our meal and both boys were like not into it. Or I even put like red peppers in front of them. No, didn't like it. Carrots. No, so yeah, the vegetables are a struggle. The boys love fruit, but it is a- <gasps> I do like carrots. Yeah, you like carrots? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you love um, watermelon, right? Yeah, and, I and really cookies. Yeah, I do. Oh, another thing Porter absolutely loves to eat are bananas. He loves bananas and apples. But bananas, he loves to have me peel it for him and he'll just like hold it and like walk around and eat it and then I have to peel it more for him. And apples, both he and his older brother would just take a whole apple and just eat it. I always offer like, I'll cut it up for you and they're like, nope, I just want to eat it straight and just eat it down to the core and then, then they leave apple cores all over my house. But it could be worse things that they are eating. Where is your favorite place to go? Where do you like to go? In the kitchen. No, where do you like to go outside the house? Where do you like to go? Inside the house. Inside the house. Where do you like to go? Where do you like to go? Where we go in the car? Where do you like to go? In the car. Yeah, where in the car? Where do you like to go? In the seat. In the seat? Where do we drive to? Where do you want to drive to? <laughs> I think he doesn't understand that, but Porter loves going to indoor play places, the zoo, um, Graham's and Graham's house, Aunt Allison's house, the park, the playground, preschool. There's lots of fun places Porter likes to go. What is your favorite animal? A giraffe. A giraffe? Ooh, they have long necks, huh? They have long belly than necks. Oh, that's silly. What makes you sad? My people make me sad. Oh, your preschool friends make you sad sometimes? Yeah. Oh, okay. What, what makes you happy? The sun. <gasps> the sun? Ooh, the sun makes me happy too. Uh, That's a good answer. What what is something that you're very good at? Play-Doh. Playing with Play-Doh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Porter loves to play with Play-Doh. <laughs> I would say Porter is very good at being a big brother. That's something new that's happened to Porter this year. He became a big brother to his little sister Avery, and he is a very good big brother. He helps me take care of her. He'll, I'll be like, Porter, go get me a diaper. Or go get me lotion. He'll go run and get it. Um, he'll go up to Avery, and he'll sing songs to her. This morning, he was reading a book to her. I don't even like ask him to do these things. He just does it on his own. So he's a really, really good big brother. I'm a really, really good brother. Yeah. What do you want to be when you grow up? A doctor. A doctor. We already talked about this, but that is what Porter wants to do, is be a doctor. I think that's a good goal. What is your favorite part of the day? Pick your back. When you get to watch a show? Yes. Yeah, Porter loves watching shows, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Okay, last question. Do you have any questions for Mommy? Yes. What? What's your question? My question is blank. No, what's your question? My question is yes.
questions. Yes, okay, he doesn't have a question. Well, that was my interview with yeah. the Porter. Thank you for answering those, Porter. Yeah. So a little bit about Porter. We did go to the pediatrician not too long ago. I'll have to see if I can, bless you, look up his stats. Okay, so Porter's stats, I just pulled it up. So he is 38 and a half inches tall, putting him in the 76th percentile. He is very tall. Back when he was only like two and a half, people were asking me if he was three. And when I tell people now that he just newly turned three, they think he's like well into his third year, almost four year old. So he is just so tall. Weight, he's 30 pounds, a 31st percentile. So he's very tall, but skinny. Um, and his BMI is like fourth percentile. So very <laughs> tiny little boy. <laughs> When we went to the pediatrician, I made a vlog about this, but he was just testing Porter on his knowledge of shapes and uppercase letters and lowercase letters. And Porter did really well on all of that. He d he messed up on triangle, but he got all the letters right, which the doctor was very impressed with. Porter goes to preschool now. He goes twice a week and he loves it. He gets to sing songs and play games and play with toys and play with make friends. And I hear from the other moms and they're like, my daughter, my son loves to play with Porter. So it's good to hear. Porter still takes one nap a day for about two hours. And every so often I'll think to myself, hmm, maybe he doesn't need that nap anymore. But my Porter is a sassy one and I'm quickly reminded like, oh no, he still needs that. Porter is definitely my sassy one compared to Grayson. My oldest likes to follow the rules, doesn't like to push boundaries. My second, Porter, loves to push boundaries, loves to state his opinion. Um, very sassy is what I would say for him. He's become very independent. No, I wanna do it, me, me, me. We'll get, well, I'll put him in the car seat to go somewhere and he says, I buckle my seat belt. So I have to wait, the very long wait for him to be able to buckle. Or no, I wanna screw the lid on my drink. Or no, I wanna pour something in. Like he wants to do everything. And he is very particular with certain things. So I have to ask him, like let's say he wants pancakes for breakfast, I have to ask him every time, do you want the pancakes whole or do you want them cut up? Do you want syrup or no syrup? Like if I don't ask him these things and I just assume what he wants, then he gets very grumpy with me. So it's just a little bit of a learning curve with Porter. Um, he's definitely like the sassy second born, as you'll see like in other videos and TikToks. Like they always say, like the first one is so sweet and the second one is crazy, and that is very true. Porter, I love him, and he is my snuggly one. He loves to cuddle and snuggle and give hugs, um, which is much more than what my firstborn likes to do, but he, it comes with his um, own set of being very sassy. Porter likes bath time, he loves bubbles in the bath, he loves to blow bubbles when we're outside and playing, he loves to go to the park, he's now able to do like all the big slides by himself. He's definitely gotten better being away from me. Uh, when he was younger, I used to have to like sneak out to go on like dates or when he, like my siblings and my mom would babysit him and now I don't have to do that anymore. I just say bye Porter and he's okay with it. So he's definitely gotten better on the attachment phase. <laughs> he's very reward motivated. All I have to do is say, I'll give you a candy and he'll do mostly anything <laughs> that I ask him to, which is nice. Yeah. He does not like cleaning up, but what kid does? He doesn't like going down for naps. He loves reading books. He honestly just loves helping. Anytime Anthony or I could give him a little task, he is so excited and just lights up and loves helping Anthony and I around the house um, and just feeling important. And he loves positive praise, which is really a good thing because we love giving him praise when he deserves it. 
Porter still loves animals, loves dogs, yeah. loves dogs, loves our cat Felix a little too much. Um, Felix tries to stay away from Porter because Porter would just like bum rush Felix and like give him a really, really tight hug and Felix does not appreciate that. <laughs> Porter loves playing with cars, and Randy loves playing with tractors. Tractors are still like his number one love. That has not changed in a year. Every time we see somebody on a lawnmower, or we see a construction site, he's the first one to point it out. There's a tractor! And like I said, at his preschool they have like a farm toy set and they have tractors there so he plays with the tractor he got a remote control tractor from me for his birthday and loves it so we still love tractors he is still sucking his fingers we need to stop that because now he is three yeah we don't suck our fingers anymore you're getting too big for that <laughs> We have his first dentist appointment coming up in less than a month, so that's exciting. He loves playing with his big brother Grayson. They're like two peas in a pod. They're the best friends ever. They are, as Porter gets older, they play so much more independently now. I can tell them both to go downstairs to the basement and play, and they will go and just entertain themselves and play games, or like Porter was giving Grayson a checkup, or I think Grayson was giving Porter a checkup this morning. Like they just love playing with each other. So it's awesome that they each have like a built-in best friend that's always around the house. Porter wants to be just like his older brother, he wants to do everything Grayson does. He was very excited when he got his own bike for his birthday because Grayson has his own bike. Um, he was excited to go to school because Grayson's been going to school and he's been watching him go to school. I was worried how Porter would do going to preschool because he is a little more attached to me, but he has been doing awesome. He is potty trained now. That was a whole ordeal. I think we started potty training him in like January and he didn't fully get it until August, <laughs> like right before preschool started. So that was a long journey, but he is potty trained now. He will have accidents here and there, but has not had an accident at preschool and that is the most important thing. I think that's about it for Porter. I mean, you guys see him in my vlogs all the time. He is my sassy one, my cuddly one. Now I've got a, what do they call it? Not terrible twos, oh, three-nager. So now he's my three-nager. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what's harder, two or three-year-old. With Grayson, it was two. Two was harder than three. But with Porter, we'll see how three is compared to two. Two was pretty hard with Porter, so we'll see <laughs> how this next year goes. But thank you so much for watching Porter's three-year-old update. Do you have anything you want to say? No. No? You say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye, guys. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.